going on guys it's Alex playing some more Forza Horizon 3 so today I want to make the ultimate off-road car so I've heard by multiple people that this Ultima GTR I think it's the 1020 let's see yeah okay so the Evolution Coupe 1020 you should get it free if you're a VIP member um, I have heard that you can make this into the fastest or not the fastest car but the best off-road car in the game so we're gonna have a bench a benchmark course and everything as we do it so we're gonna do three runs first we're gonna do it completely stock so right now I have my my signature paint job on it but I have no modifications done to it we're gonna kinda set get a feel for it and everything then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and do some upgrades I wanna see how what how good I can get it just by doing upgrades and um, We'll do another mark there, see how that goes, and then finally we're going to kind of fine tune it a little bit, work with the tuning setup and everything, and see how good we can actually get this to go. So, we're going to start off, so we're going to hop in this car, I'm already in the car, okay. So, we're going to start off with the benchmark course, I'm going to show you this real quick. Okay, so we are at the starting line of this course, so driving over here, I noticed a few things about, okay. Wow, okay, um, I noticed a few things about this car. Um, first off, it handles very well, as you'd expect. It's a, it's a track toy, um, you can go very fast, and it has a decent amount of grip, and it'll corner super sharp. That's the biggest thing I noticed. It will corner extremely, extremely sharp. So, oh god, this Lambo's about to take me out. Um, so that's really cool. I really like that. The big thing that I noticed is the oversteer is insane you in this car. List oversteer is nearby. incredibly bad. Would you like me to set it's not one of those you? cars that just like, oh, the back end sliding out a little bit, let me just drift it. It's one of those ones where it will whip around and spin you out really bad. So, I mean, I only drove like a mile or two to get over here, and I think I spun out twice. So, it does handle the power pretty well, but oversteer is something that you need to keep care of. So, when I do some upgrades, I'm going to be working on tires. I want to get some more traction and stuff. But... We're trying to get off-road, so it's not very good off-road so far. That's something I noticed. But once this GTR gets by, we're going to start this benchmark. So all I'm doing is just driving on this road. Okay. So as you can see, launch on the dirt road is pretty good. Launch is pretty fast. Turn around. See, there's oversteer right there. I didn't even mean to turn. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take this decently fast. I'm not going for times or anything, but I'm just kind of getting a feel for the car, seeing how everything goes. You can see I can't even stay on the road. Okay. Oh, oh, I almost lost it there. Okay, of course I'm driving a little bit better. I was complaining about it. It's not too bad right now. Um, oh god, oh god. I lost it there. Okay, okay, I didn't, I didn't lose it. Okay. Um, oversteer hasn't really kicked in right now. Hopefully it won't. Oh god. See, there, there's nothing I could do there. Okay. See, that that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, if you start the back end, it will go out just a little bit, and then it'll just keep going, no matter how much counter steering. If you see, get off the gas, if you're braking, nothing will help. The back end will keep going out. So, as long as you catch it early enough, it's fine. But it's, it's pretty hard to catch, and it's pretty bad. So that is the test for it. It actually it did better than I thought. When I drove over here, I guess I wasn't really going by roads. I was going over the dunes and stuff. It was very hard to control. I actually managed it decently well on that one, but very clearly it is not set up for an off-road course. So we're going to hop into the garage. We're going to do a little bit of tuning, hopefully get it better off-road, and we'll see what happens then. Alright guys, so we are in the garage, we are about to upgrade this car, so just a note before I start anything, I definitely want to turn this thing all wheel drive. The rear wheel drive is good, but I think that's the main reason we're having trouble with all this oversteer. So, and it doesn't have a problem with understeer at all, so I really want to make it a conversion to all wheel drive. That's a big thing. I want to widen the tires, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I Hopefully I'll be able to do a rally suspension, again I don't know if it's going to let you do that on this car. Um, but. That should, I don't really want to add too much power because I think it's already a, a 1,020 horsepower. We have plenty of power. It's very fast. Not really too worried about too much acceleration. It's already crazy. It won't go down too much. That's the main thing. I really, really, really want to focus on traction. So first off, we're going to do a conversion drive thing. Okay, so all we can do is make it all-wheel drive. Cool. And that brings us to X999. So that brings our speed way down. Handling down a little bit. Okay. Okay, speed way down. But it makes the acceleration and launch that much better. Okay, cool. 
So we're going to throw that on there. Let's go... Why not? We'll do this. Does that do anything? Sure, somehow that adds handling. I guess a little bit of downforce. Why not? Ooh. Ah! Uh, nah, I'm going to keep the wing. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, so then tires. So I, I want to... Rally compound, definitely, definitely. Want to do better rally. And we're going to make these wheels as wide as possible. Cool. So I'm going to leave the stock rims. I think those are fine for this car. Um, so you can't do a lot to it. So clutch. Sure, why not? We're just going to upgrade some stuff. It's not we're going to make that much of a difference. So transmission is not going to make that much of a difference. It's going to help acceleration a little bit. Handling, okay. We can tune that. Okay, cool. So that's not making that much of a difference. This should do, okay, definitely want good brakes. Oh, and it's red. That looks really good. You know, for no effect, I'm just going to, hopefully the brakes will help a lot. So this will, okay, def, good. We can do a rally suspension. That's awesome. So we're going to tune that a little bit. All right, and we'll do the anti-roll bars. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So that's all we can tune. So we basically have this car fully upgraded. There's no power. Let's see, does it? Well, okay, so we'll set it up and then see. Nope, wrong button. Okay, so we're gonna install this setup. So, it's 2,200 pounds. I didn't realize this car was so obnoxiously light. That's awesome. So basically, we brought the weight up just a little bit, left the power the same, and we can't turn quite as hard. We'll see how that goes. So we brought it up a little bit. 36 grand. That's not too bad. So we're gonna bring this to the test track and see what we can do with this one. Guys, okay, so we just made it back to the test track. Already, I can tell a lot better. It is so much better. It could, I didn't oversteer at all. I didn't experience oversteer at all. Um, it felt a little bit softer on the roads. It felt like the acceleration hit a little bit, even though it says the acceleration is better. Um, but taking corners, I still feel every bit as nimble and agile as I did before. But there's, you definitely can tell the all-wheel drive conversion. So let's try this course. Let's get it. I feel like it's going to be a lot better than before, and I haven't even messed with the tuning at all. To be honest, I don't really know how much I'm going to be able to do. Okay. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to actually change with the tuning. Um, because we weren't able to upgrade that much, but I feel like just the all-wheel drive makes that much of a difference. And as you can tell, I'm in a lot more control than I was before. Oh, God. Except I'm about to run over all these cars. Yeah, see, that's the oversteer you want. You want to be able to just slide around a corner, not be um, spinning out the whole time. I don't know how much you guys can tell about the difference. Um, they ran off the road because of him. Um, but it feels night and day better. It is so incredibly better. Oh god. Okay. Well, that didn't help my point much. Um, that was just a jump. Um, yeah, traction is so much better. Um, so now, what we're going to do, now we have the upgrades. We're going to throw a tuning setup on it and then see how much we can get from there. Alright guys, so we are back in the garage. We're about to throw a little tuning setup on here. So tire pressure, I'm not going to change that too much. I'm going to bring it down to like 27 and a half and then 26. Um... Just bring it down just a little bit, be able to hold corners a little bit better. Gearing, I'm going to leave exactly the same. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Alignment, we're going to do... That should be good, actually, with the negative 3 and negative 2. We'll leave the toe the same, caster the same. Um, actually, we're going to bring the front camber to negative 2.5. We'll just add just a little bit. Anti-roll bars, we're going to... Bring it down to about 29 and 35.5. That that should be good. Springs, uh, we're gonna. Um, yeah, we're just gonna bring it down just a little bit. Not gonna make too much difference. And we're all the way high from that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're gonna soften it up just a little bit. Keep going just a little bit. Shouldn't make that much of a difference. Arrow. Uh, we'll do. We'll leave that the same brake, leave that the same, differential, we'll leave that the same. Okay, so I didn't really change too much. I just basically made it a little bit softer, and then, uh, yeah, I basically just made it a little bit softer. Alright, so we're going to 
try this on the test track and hopefully it'll be significantly better. Alright guys, we are back at the test track for the final run. So theoretically this one should be a lot better. On the way over here I did notice a little bit of a difference. It did seem to hold ground a lot better. Definitely no oversteer. We didn't have a problem with that last time, but definitely no oversteer still. Um, I was able to you know, go over jumps and then have immediate traction at the bottom. So let's see how this one does. Hopefully, see even the acceleration felt a little bit better. I feel like I'm able to hold corners just a little bit better, which makes sense in the lower tire pressure. You see, I may, with a previous tuning setup, I probably would have like whipped to the side after that little jump, but I'm holding corners super well with this. If I can get around. Oh, okay. That was my bad. And you see, I'm able, I mean, this is a pretty, it, it's just enough corner to be able to see what the car can do, but um, it's not a very technical track. It's pretty fast. Oh, God. Oh, narrowly dodged that one. Um, but yeah, already night and day difference, especially from the original stock. There's a lag there. Because um, it was pretty bad stock. I have problems with that corner. Um, yeah, this car was super, see, there we go, that oversteer, you saw I was able to actually control it. A little bit of counter steering is good. Okay. So that is three different iterations of the car, and honestly, my honest opinion, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a better car. Now, I had heard from multiple people that this was the best off-road car, because you get like some of the actual built off-road cars, and they're just not fast. You know, they can handle corners and everything, but they're not going to be able to get that much speed through it. So you need, like, a supercar or something that can get that speed, and this is it, you know. I feel like this handled it extremely well, and um, I was a little bit skeptical from the beginning because it was bad. You know, it, I mean, you don't need rear-wheel drive in an off-road car, but this car handles the power super well, 1,020 horsepower, and you're able to drive it off-road pretty well. I think that's pretty awesome. So that's the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in that next one. Peace.